गाइस आई एम वैशाली की कान फ्रॉम वैशाली जी लर्निंग एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ स्पेशल पर्पस टू टर्मिनल डिवाइस दैट इज अ वेरेक्टर डायोड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी ऑलरेडी हैड डिस्कस्ड वन ऑफ द स्पेशल पर्पस टू टर्मिनल डिवाइस दैट इज द एलईडी वी ऑलरेडी हैव डिस्कस्ड द एलईडी इन डिटेल एंड नाउ वी आर मूविंग ऑन टुवर्ड्स अ वेरेक्टर डायोड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर डिस्कशन विद द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द वेरेक्टर डायोड What does this vector word mean? Vector word is made up of two words where, which means variable, right? It is denoting variable, and actor is denoting the word capacitor. So it is denoting the variable capacitor. So this diode is having the variable capacitance, and the capacitance value can be changed with the reverse bias voltage. So I hope the word vector is now making a sense to you, right? So now variable capacitor. is the meaning of the vector right so vector is representing variable capacitor obviously this diode will be having a pn junction right and it is working in the reverse bias condition right it is used in the application where i require the capacitance to be variable right how the capacitance will become variable by controlling the voltage voltage is controlling the capacitance in those application i can use the vector right so now it is also called as a semiconductor microwave solid state device right it is also known as a very cap diode very means a variable and cap means capacitor so vector or very cap are the name of the same type of diode it gives the desired capacitance changes by changing the voltage of the diode it is specially manufactured and even optimized such that they enable a very high range of change in the capacitance so i can have a very large range of capacitance by changing the reverse bias voltage of the variable diode right or very cap diode or vector diode right so now its gain is dependent upon the vector diode junction properties we all know the junction properties for a diode are really important to understand the gain of the diode it is known as a abrupt vector diode right it is also known as a gallium arsenide vector diode or it is also known as a hyper abrupt vector right so the symbol will be like this and in the symbol you can see we have a symbol of diode and above that we have a capacitor symbol so capacitor symbol at one of the diode it is representing the variable capacitor characteristics so in this manner we can understand that this diode is specially used whenever we require the variable capacitances right so coming to the working of the very cap diode or vector diode so now for that we should understand how a capacitor is working what is a capacitor in the capacitor we have the two parallel plates of the conductor so these are my two conducting plates which are separated by a dielectric medium so this is how we will be having capacitor these two conducting plates are supplied with the different charges here we have positive charge here we will be having the negative charge so capacitance is directly proportional to the area of the plates right so here we can find out the area of the plate if i increase the area the capacitance will increase capacitance is equal to epsilon a upon d right so you can see capacitance is directly proportional to area capacitance is inversely proportional to the distance between the two plate the distance between two plate is d so the capacitor is the two conducting plate separated with dielectric depletion region and now in the diode also we can make a capacitor right size of the depletion range region changes with the reverse bias right in the diode what happens this is my diode in the diode we have a p region we have a n region in the n region we have positive immobile ions in the p region we have negative immobile ions right so in this manner we have a depletion region this depletion region will not be having any charge carriers and this depletion region will be acting like a dielectric depletion region right so we the p region is having a lot of charge carriers and region will be having a lot of charge carriers so p or n regions will be acting like the two conducting plates whereas this depletion region will be acting like the region where we have the dielectric so two conducting mediums are separated by the dielectric and in this manner we have the capacitor formed from the diode right 
Now this length of the depletion region is controlling the capacitance of this diode. So size of the depletion region changes with the reverse bias. We all know if I increase the reverse bias voltage, the depletion region will increase. The depletion region will become wider if I have more negative the reverse bias voltage. If I move towards the forward bias voltage, if I decrease the reverse bias voltage, the de depletion region becomes less. So if I increase the reverse voltage, the depletion region will increase the distance between the two conducting plates. So P and N are the two conductors and when the depletion region width is increasing, the distance between P and N will increase or D will increase and the capacitance will decrease because capacitance is inversely proportional to D. When the reverse voltage is decreased, at that time depletion region will decrease, D will decrease and the capacitance will increase. So in this manner, we can change the capacitance based upon the reverse bias voltage. Now coming to the characteristics of the Varector diode. So here you can see we have the capacitance and this is the reverse voltage. So capacitance is decreasing as we are moving towards the more negative reverse bias voltage. So you can see over here as I am having the more negative reverse bias voltage, capacitance is decreasing, right? So the similar thing is shown here in this diagram, right? So it produces considerably less noise as compared to the another conventional diode. This is one of the best advantage of using the Varector diode. The noise produced here is very less as compared to the other diodes. It is available at the low cost. It is a cheaper uh, device. It is smaller in size and it is very light in weight. It is not useful when operated in the forward bias. So in the forward bias, it is acting like a normal diode and it will lose its properties of a variable capacitor diode. Right? It increases the reverse bias, will decrease the capacitance. When I have the more uh, reverse bias voltage, the capacitance will decrease. Coming to the applications of the Varector diode, it is used as a voltage controlled oscillator, it is used as a parametric amplifier, then as a frequency multiplier. So these three are the applications of the Varector diode. I hope you understood the Varector diode in detail and I hope if you like this video, you are going to like it, subscribe the channel and share it with your friends. And also don't forget to download our application, the mobile application Vashali's e-learning in your phone. Thank you so much.